The length of the Brooklyn Bridge was more than doubled by the George Washington Bridge that opened in 1931. It connects New York to New Jersey. More than 270,000 vehicles a day make it the busiest bridge in the country. We saw a big boom in a suburb. People were always desperately looking for ways to live outside Manhattan and work in Manhattan. The George Washington Bridge allowed that to happen. But as suspension bridges became longer, engineers learned one of their biggest lessons from a narrow two-lane span at the other end of the country. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge, dedicated in 1940, became known as Galloping Gertie as it swayed in the winds sweeping up Puget Sound. Four months after it was opened, those winds sent the bridge into a rhythmic dance of death. In an attempt to build the ultimate slender suspension bridge, its designer failed to account for a constant 40 mile an hour wind. Pressure from the wind triggered huge oscillations, as well as an incredible torsional or twisting motion. People who used the bridge were literally getting seasick. They compared it to riding a wave. Here it goes. Four months after it opened, the wave crashed. This Coman Arrows Bridge is a very classic example of having a very bad shape with regard to wind. A very blunt surfaces, the wind attacks, and it has almost like fluid water moving around a pier, creates eddies, oscillating actions then start, and in this case, threw the bridge into a resonance, which eventually collapsed it, all under very small wind forces. There was very little stiffness built into the bridge to account for the pressure. The deck could have been wider, the towers could have been thicker, but most of all, engineers ignored aerodynamics. They now design long suspension bridges with horizontal girders that are open along the sides to let the wind pass through. 